The James Webb Space Telescope has peered into the distant past and found something astonishing, a supermassive black hole that seems impossible. This behemoth, a cosmic monster millions or even billions of times heavier than our sun, existed just 570 million years after the Big Bang. This discovery challenges our understanding of how black holes form and grow in the early universe. Finding such a massive black hole so early in the universe's history is like finding a skyscraper in a tiny village. It simply shouldn't be there according to our current understanding. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. They are formed when massive stars collapse at the end of their lives. However, the early universe was a very different place than it is today. It was much smaller, hotter, and denser. This means that the first stars and galaxies formed much more quickly than they do now. But even with this accelerated growth, it's difficult to explain how a black hole could have grown so massive in such a short amount of time. This black hole is not just massive, it is also actively growing. The JWST observations show that it is surrounded by a disk of gas and dust, known as an accretion disk. As material from the accretion disk spirals inward towards the black hole, it heats up and emits light. This light is what allows us to see the black hole, even though it is itself invisible. The rate at which the black hole is accreting material is astonishing. It is consuming the equivalent of one Earth's mass every five minutes. This suggests that the black hole is growing at a very rapid rate, perhaps even faster than the rate at which it can swallow material. This has led some scientists to speculate that the black hole may be force-fed by streams of gas flowing in from its surroundings. The existence of such a massive and rapidly growing black hole in the early universe has profound implications for our understanding of how galaxies evolve. Supermassive black holes are thought to reside at the centers of most, if not all, galaxies. The discovery of this early black hole suggests that these behemoths may play a crucial role in the formation and evolution of their host galaxies from the very beginning. The JWST was able to observe this distant black hole thanks to a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. Massive objects like galaxies or clusters of galaxies can bend the fabric of space-time around them. This bending acts like a magnifying glass, amplifying the light from objects behind them. In this case, the light from the distant black hole was magnified by the gravity of a massive galaxy cluster located between the black hole and Earth. This magnification allowed the JWST to see the black hole in unprecedented detail even though it is located over 13 billion light-years away. The JWST's ability to observe such faint and distant objects is revolutionizing our understanding of the early universe. By studying these objects we can learn about the conditions that existed in the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang and gain insights into the processes that led to the formation of the first stars, galaxies, and black holes. This discovery challenges our current understanding of how black holes form and grow in the early universe. It suggests that our existing models may be incomplete and that we need to rethink some of our fundamental assumptions. One possibility is that this black hole was formed by the direct collapse of a massive cloud of gas in the early universe. This process, known as direct collapse black hole formation, is still theoretical, but could explain how such massive black holes could form so quickly. Another possibility is that this black hole is the result of a merger of many smaller black holes. As these smaller black holes collided and merged, they would have created a larger and more massive black hole. This discovery also has implications for our understanding of dark matter. Dark matter is a mysterious substance that makes up about 85% of the matter in the universe. We cannot see dark matter directly, but we know it exists because of its gravitational effects on visible matter. The rapid growth of this early black hole suggests that it may be accreting dark matter as well as normal matter. This could provide us with a new way to study the properties of dark matter and its role in the evolution of the universe. The discovery of this supermassive black hole in the early universe is a major breakthrough in astronomy. It has opened up new avenues of research and raised a host of new questions. How did this black hole form so early in the universe? How did it grow so massive so quickly? What is the relationship between this black hole and its host galaxy? What can this black hole tell us about the nature of dark matter? These are just a few of the questions that astronomers are now grappling with. The JWST is poised to revolutionize our understanding of the universe and this is just the beginning. 
As the JWS continues to peer into the distant past, it is sure to uncover even more surprises and challenge our understanding of the cosmos. I invite you to explore more about this fascinating discovery and share your thoughts. The universe it seems is full of wonders waiting to be unveiled.